This is a Power BI report page which pulls in data from different APIs out on the web in order to compare unemployment, how many people are not in the labor force, how many people in the labor force are in agriculture, total population, people per farmer, and some additional metrics. On the left hand side you can see that there's slicers which can be used to interact with the reports on the page. So for example if we wanted to add the 1960s to this page we can click on that value and you'll see that the reports change accordingly. The first report is looking at the Dow Jones which is on the y-axis versus unemployment percent which is the red line. You can see with the economic crisis of 2008 when the Dow Jones dipped down that shortly afterwards there was a corresponding increase in unemployment. Looking at the chart in the upper right, it's graphing GDP dollars per worker in a given year, along with national debt dollars per worker, the red bar, in a given year. And it also has the consumer price index on the secondary y-axis. Now what's interesting here is that you can see over time that GDP dollars per worker and the CPI are pretty much parallel as they increase over the years, whereas the national debt used to be pretty much parallel but has been increasing steadily over the last 15 years or so to the point now where national debt dollars per worker is actually greater than GDP dollars per worker. Looking at the chart down here on the bottom left, at first it looks kind of bland, but if we were to add some additional data, say the 1960s, you'll see that the percentage of the total population that was in agriculture was fairly significant back at that time. And over the years it's declined fairly steadily. Which brings us to the final chart on this page, which is plotting people per farmer on the y-axis and the percentage of people who are not in the labor force on the x-axis. And each bubble on the scatter chart is an individual year, and the colors of the bubbles are decades. So you can see that there used to be a fairly significant number of people who were not in the labor force, around 41% in 1965. And over the years, a higher percentage of people were then in the labor force, but at the same time, there were also more people per farmer, probably due to improvements in technology, crop yields, and those sort of things. What's interesting is looking at the 2000s and the 2010s is while there was a dramatic increase in the number of people per farmer, there's now also an increase in the number of people who are not in the labor force, or rather the percentage of people who are not in the labor force. This is just one more example of how Power BI can be used to pull in data from different sources in order to do some interesting comparisons. And there's also a notes and documentation page that you can use to reach out to me with any questions or suggestions or visit the links where you can go get these open data sources for yourself in order to reproduce or improve upon the report that I've shown in this video.